Hi everyone. This is a, uh, another uh, circuit application uh, using the uh, reactive generator and my reactive circuit. Well, it's basically a reactive circuit on a, a standard generator. Um, you can uh, recharge a battery and interestingly enough this uh, circuit is the first circuit that I uh, developed and tested and this goes back actually two months ago and I haven't shared it till now and I figured well I'm just giving it all away now so I just might as well give everything away <laughs> um, so it's again our uh, standard uh, microwave oven transformer here where there's a capacitor bank that's already tuned to the ideal setting for the generator so there is no uh, effect back to the uh, prime mover and there is a um, full wave bridge rectifier here that's been uh, added to the circuit so on our uh, leg one leg to the primary uh, we have the capacitor bank in series and the other leg of the uh, primary we have a uh, full wave bridge rectifier in series so the two uh, leg the two AC legs of the full wave bridge is uh, in series on that return leg and then we have these two outputs that uh, connect to this uh, fairly large battery that's out of my uh, minivan so it's a, it's a good sized battery it's a uh, thousand uh, cold cranking amps actually uh, 850 cold cranking amps at uh, minus 18 uh, Celsius and uh, I've got the, the clips attached here uh, I have the my voltmeter there so that's where the battery is sitting at this time and um, this uh, is the uh, circuit positive here going into uh, this meter which will uh, uh, display current so right now it's on um, 10 amps uh, current capability of measurement uh, DC and will be able to display how much current is going uh, to the battery basically it will be 1.7 uh, amps and uh, which is uh, an equivalent of um, 20 uh, just a little more than 20 watts basically so here I'll connect my uh, induction motor which is the prime mover to the uh, alternator head and uh, again we will see our standard uh, range around 165 uh, watts uh, being used and I'll activate the circuit by this switch and you'll see there'll be no uh, requirements of additional power uh, from the prime mover to uh, power this load which is charging this battery. I have two bulbs here as well on the top. Uh, these bulbs are uh, 10, uh, 10 watt uh, each at 12 volts. So I'm going to connect those as well and you'll see that you know basically the battery will get drained as we're pushing 20 watts in and uh, these are rated at 12 volts uh, 10 watt each and they're connected in parallel so you need uh, 20 watts to maintain them at uh, basically 12 volts so the battery will you know slowly slowly keep going down but once it would reach uh, 12 volts basically uh, this circuit could uh, keep charging that battery and maintain that voltage uh, pretty well infinitely without asking uh, power from the front mover so uh, without uh, any more uh, delay let's uh, give this a try uh, induction motor. So we will have a look here at our wattage. So there we are. It's a hundred and no, we're actually in the 150 uh, watt range, and the uh, circuit is turned off at this time. And there is our voltage. And I'll try to make this a little better. So now I will turn on the uh, circuit. So as you see now, the uh, battery voltage is climbing quite rapidly. So it has no problem uh, to fully charge the battery. And as a matter of fact, if I don't put a load on it soon, it will actually overcharge the battery. You don't want to go over 14.5 uh, 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 volts. So right now I'll uh, connect the, uh, light, those light bulbs that are there on the top. So the bulbs are now connected, and now you see our battery voltage is going back down because it has a load connected to it. Um, and then eventually as it reaches around 
uh, 12.5, it'll maintain it for quite a while. It'll take a time, quite a bit of time for it to, uh, to drain. Anyways, uh, I forgot to show you as well. There is the current, 1.7 uh, amps. And uh, I'll shut the uh, circuit off. Have a look at the wattage there. So 163, 165 watts. Uh, I'm just going to shut it off. So as you see, pretty well still at uh, 163. Uh, now it's uh, our battery that's uh, just supplying the uh, bulbs. And uh, the battery is uh, draining. So can it start it up again? We can look at the wattage there. So it's now connected. The circuit is functioning and now again uh, recharging the battery. So you won't see any uh, further well, uh, voltage drop. And uh, you can see again our current. So I thought I would share this as well, which is a good use for the uh, circuit. And um, hope you uh, are capable of having a uh, successful replication of uh, what I'm sharing. And I uh, hope it can help the world. Thanks for watching. Bye now.